All right, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are doing something pretty cool and interesting. We are going to a, not a launch party, but a launch event for one of my friends who are publishing his first graphic novel. And it's with the publishers, Norwegian publishers that are publishing Norwe the Norwegian version of the Snowcat Prince as well. Um, so I'm gonna meet everyone who's there, who's published with them before, and I'm gonna have dinner with them afterwards. And I'm kind of nervous and kind of excited. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. I'm just currently trying to put some makeup on to not look completely out of everything. Um, but yeah, I thought you guys would be interested in seeing who he is and what kind of comic he's made. Also, there's a lot of people making noise around me. So I probably will talk to you guys later. And not right now. This is also my beauty routine. It's really easy. It's eyeshadow. Wait, how can I? There we go. Eyeshadow and uh, eyeliner. That's about it. I don't use anything else. I also painted my nails the other day, yesterday, and it's kind of already chipping, which is annoying. I probably should buy some extra, some extra um, topper or something. I don't know. I usually don't paint my nails very often, but I thought I would just top it off just to see if I can make it a bit better. I'm not very good at this, but I like having it on, so. Hello. Hello, brother. Fun Yeah. All right, my middle sister just left, and that means I am officially an only child in this apartment until my mom and dad leaves and we can stay here for free, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, but it's really sad. That was. But I. Yeah, it's really sad that she left, but I'm happy that. I don't know, I got to see both of them before they left. And somebody asked in the previous vlog if I was going to do a video with them. Sadly not. They were just leaving pretty quick and they're not very comfortable on camera. So I wasn't really going to make them. But I might ask my parents if they want to like be on the vlog. But I think they're pretty much the same as everyone else that I know. That they just don't want to be on camera. Uh, but yeah, now it is... Currently 11.16 and the event starts around 1 so I'm kind of just like hanging out and not doing anything. I could have probably worked but I have things I need to do but I'm kind of just like not doing anything uh, but it's going to be nice, well it's going to be cool filming as much as I can. I don't know if I'm going to talk to the camera but I think you guys would just enjoy seeing a little bit. And I might just put the camera in Odin's, Odin's face and be like, how does it feel to be published? And we'll see what he says. <laughs> I don't actually, I've never met him in person. I've just chatted him with him online. So, yep, I'll catch up with you guys when I get out. I'm ready to go. I feel like I look kind of cute. So maybe it's just the apartment that makes me look cute. That might be it. I am going.
Nice to meet you. Good morning. Uh, it is now Monday. I was going to film yesterday, but I didn't because I was just tired. Being with people and being social kind of exhausts me a bit. So yesterday I just I did the basic that I needed to do, and I just I just chilled the rest of the day. I was also going to film in the bedroom today, as you probably can hear because I probably can't edit it completely out. There's somebody renovating the apartment right opposite and it's loud, <laughs> it's so close. Um, but that's the beauty of living in an apartment in the middle of the city with very close proximity to people and I'll just have to live with it. And um, yeah, I thought I would talk a little bit about just publishing my book in Norwegian. Uh, but first, you know what, I think I left the window open, so maybe if I close that window it'll be a bit better. Give me, give me a try. You know what, that actually worked. I should have done that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> wow, who would have thought two doors would help better than just one? Um, so yeah, I thought I would just talk a bit about publishing my book in the region because I don't think I've actually like announced it mostly because I don't know if it's gonna happen I'm sure it is I have a contract but you know um it's this weird is it really gonna happen feeling um so I'm not gonna say yes 100% it's gonna happen but it's happening um so the backstory to how it happened was actually the guy who published his book yesterday, Odin, he or Odin, however you want to say it, he actually sent me a message on Instagram saying, "Hey, I saw your uh, your video on YouTube talking about graphic novels and like publishing your own." It's like, I saw you were Norwegian. I want to talk to you. And I'm like, "Oh my God, yes, of course. I'm talking to you. I'm talking also to this other person who's doing like a really big series in Norway called Malin." and uh, she's kind of the, the forefront of the comic industry at the moment in Oslo, Norway, I think. Uh, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I talked to her as well. And then we just started chatting. And I said, oh yeah, I kind of wanted to talk to Egmont, which is the publisher, about publishing my stuff with them. Like I've talked to them before about Greylegs, but they ghosted me. <laughs> so um, I, I got the reason for that later, I'll, I'll tell you. But, um, and then I was like, oh, yeah, you should talk to them right now, like, I'll, I'll send uh, the, uh, the, what's it called? The editor, I guess? The, the person who has control over their comics. Uh, I'll send her a message right now. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, like, make a proper email asking if they're interested with, like, you know, all the stuff that you're supposed to do to kind of get a publisher interested in your stuff. And um, before I even got to send that off, because I was going to like have my dad read over it, my boyfriend read over it, and before I even got to do that, the same evening, she sent me a message saying, Hey, did I heard that you have something to show us? And I'm like, oh no, okay, um, yes. And then I sent her the PDF of The Snogger Prince, and I got the whole book, just like, here you go. And um, I think just like that evening, the same evening, I think they were like, oh yeah, we want it. And I'm like, okay. Um, so they wanted to publish the Stoka prints in Norwegian, which is really, really cool. And it was kind of surreal. And it was kind of quiet for a little bit. I think we had a call and we just chatted. And then I got the reason for why they didn't want the gray legs, uh, which is, is why it was a children's book. They're trying to um, go for comics especially fantasy comics lately um, and two, it is a kind of political statement in Norway <laughs> which I kind of get, like I don't think it's a political statement I think it's a nature kind of conservatory, conservatory statement um, so yeah, that happened uh, and I, I understand, I, I got, I won that second prize, second, second prize or something, wait, second place in the competition they had uh, but they didn't want to publish it, which is, I'm 
understandable, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Snowcat Prince is coming out in Norwegian. They were talking about having it published as soon as possible this autumn, but then they wouldn't have the time to kind of sell me into the bookshops and stuff. It's a different sort of system here, and I'm trying to learn. I only know how to self-publish books, so I'm just sitting here like absorbing all the information, which is really fun. Because it's like a whole other world, and like I feel like I've done so much myself, and it's hard to give control to someone else, but it's also kind of nice. And um, yeah, now I think we're sitting at, don't hold me to it, because I don't know, this might change. They're aiming for January, because it's a snow cat print, so snow, uh, and that would be really cool. But there are some changes that I'm doing. So if you do have the Kickstarter version of the book, uh, you're lucky, you get like the first edition, well lucky, um, you get the first edition or um, first draft because we're actually changing a few things with it. Um, I guess I'm not gonna, well it's not gonna be, unless you've read the book, like you don't know what I'm talking about, but th there's, actually I'm gonna show you the intro pages because those are not really secret, they're just the part of the prologue and they're quite stiff, I'll show them on screen, they're quite stiff and they, my publishers were worried about people picking up the book in stores and feeling like it was too grown up. The story itself is quite childish and kind of like a Disney movie, um, but the introduction is so stiff and so serious that it does not kind of, it, it would maybe make people put it down again. So I'm redoing those pages. I'm doing a bit of a twist with the actual content as well, just what, what you are told. And I'm gonna remove a god that's in there because it, he, kind of, he kind of complicates the whole story. So I'm gonna remove him. He's still there, but not in the story. And I'm gonna make some epic kind of uh, battle scenes. You know, like if you watched um, The Guardians of Gahul, I think it's called, the one with the owls. And um, I think even the introduction to Lord of the Rings, uh, most fantasy movies or books, well not books, have like this epic sort of intro sequence and you're like, oh my god, so big, I, I think even Moana has it. I think um, I was going for more of the Beauty and the Beast kind of intro, but I'm going to go now for more of a Lord of the Rings kind of intro, um, which is, I'm actually excited about. It's kind of a chance to draw them, the characters again, kind of go kind of crazy with the illustration part of it. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys that today because that's something that we do, 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 uh, do need to work on uh, because we are putting the book to, well, well no, we are applying to a fund in Norway where you get funding to print books. And that's something the publishers are doing, and that's how they function here in Norway, especially when it comes to getting funding for new type of books. And um, so that's gonna happen on the 1st of September, or the 3rd of September, the end of that week. So I want to have stuff done today. It's Monday. I want to have sketches done today. And I think I'm going to the actual office tomorrow, but I need to confirm that. <laughs> and then I'll take you guys with me for that one as well. Um, so yeah, I need to get stuff done. I'm kind of stressed about it. I've been stressed just moving my whole life to also, or yeah, Norway has been really stressful and I've had sort of a vacation with my family. I couldn't work. It was really hard to work when I was around them. And my mom and dad's left for the cabin. I'm just here in the city. They kind of moved out already. So this apartment's gonna be where I'm gonna live for a while. And yeah, no, I just, Time just ran away from me and I'm like, oh god, okay, I actually need to do stuff now. Uh, but I don't have to have it finished, which is really, really good. I only need to have it sketched or like show that I'm working on it, which is the whole point of applying for the fund is so that you can get some money to still work on it and also print it. Well, the publisher is going to print it. I'm going to only get a part of the fund. It's which is really good about Norway. They have, this, they have a lot of funds you can apply for. And um, what are the, I'm going to do a change to the end of the story, kind of in the middle of the story, I'm not sure, I'm going to look at it. Um, I'm going to translate everything into Norwegian, naturally. 
and then they're gonna have someone else go over my language because it might not be correct, which I kind of understand. But I wanted to do the, the first path, path, path myself. What else is happening? I don't think we're doing a new cover because then I would have to have the cover done this weekend, <laughs> by this weekend. I could just have this week as a snow cat print sort of thing. I don't think there's, well, I have some other stuff to do. Um, I need to do a tutorial for my patrons and also a stream for my patrons. And I think that's the only two things I have to do. So I can use everything else for snow cat stuff. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting doing this. Uh, it was really cool seeing the uh, whole thing on Saturday with Odin's book, Ragnarok, and how he was like signing and talking to people, we're out for dinner after, and um, it was really interesting. I liked it, and I got to meet people as well, and it was, I had this thought when we were sitting around the table having dinner, we couldn't be that many people because of <laughs> Corona, um, and um, it was kind of just only this, the people with the contracts, which made me feel really weird because I just kind of feel like I've been thrown into it. And uh, everyone else has series and I only have one shot, like one book that I'm translating. So I'm going to have to try and apply for like, or talk to them about doing Netlen Bahashash because I really want to do that. And if they can pick it up, that would be really cool. Um, oh, I'm also retaining my English rights. They want to be a partner in dealing with other publishers if there are other publishers, but I might just publish my English version myself or I'll try and contact some English publishers about publishing it in English. Um, because I think I, I, I find it really annoying because they don't really um, Norwegian publishers, they don't really focus on publishing in English, but my whole community is in English. Like, all of you guys would read English comics, so I really, really need to uh, get someone else or do it myself, uh, like publish it. As soon as the Norwegian ones kind of calm down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I want you guys to read it. Like, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm gonna reprint it or if I'm um, gonna let you guys read it, and I, I will. Um, I also have a few extra, like, co books, comics, books from the Kickstarter, which I'm thinking about just keeping for now. Um, just because the publishers are kind of trying to sell me in and do a lot of work with me, so I don't... I would do it, but I don't want to step on their toes. I've been advised from different people that I, I trust that I shouldn't do that, even though I can. Um, so I'm just going to keep them and then probably sell them next year for a higher price because then they'll, they'll be collectible. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought. That's my thought process. Um, oh, the book is also not going to be the same size. So if you have the um, one from the Kickstarter, it's A4. Wait, I have it. I get it. This is the book. It has some stuff in it. Oh, it has some stuff in it, so just ignore that. But this is the book. It's really big. Um, and the... The format that the Norwegian publishers is kind of going for, it's smaller. So it's like around A5, so a little bit bigger than A5. So if this is A5 on this side, it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, so this one is like the deluxe edition, I'm calling it, and the one that they're publishing is like the normal kind of published book sort of style. And, but I think that my pages are going to like fit that sort of format because if you look at it, my panels are so big. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I had, there was stuff in it. Oh no. Yeah, my, my parents were asking me if I was happy about it being smaller and I was like, I don't really mind. Like, if they think that's the best way to go, I kind of sell it as a children's book instead of a comic, which is what they've done with all the other ones that they've done, like Nulis um, and also uh, Ragnarok. I, um, I don't mind. At all. I have this one. I've already done the really cool version of my book, so I don't mind at all. Anyway, um, that was a long 
kind of intro to this, but I, I think it's really interesting and I wanted to make like a vlog about it uh, and like show you guys the process and like what's gonna happen and if it's gonna happen at all because that's interesting <laughs> and um, yeah I'm gonna probably set up my workstation here because it's noisy in there and then I will start sketching I've already rewritten the intro bit in Norwegian so I kind of know what I'm doing <laughs> kind of <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm just gonna take you with me and I'm gonna do some sketches and get something done today sounds good? yes sounds good <laughs> How long was that? Oh, 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. All right, so I actually just, <laughs> I haven't started sketching yet, but I realized that I had been translating the comic um with the wrong format so this is the original format which is a4 but the new format is a little bit bigger than a5 which is let me check 162 millimeter width and then 235 no, millimeter high so it's a little bit bigger than uh a5 and it's also a little bit longer than A5 so it's a bit of a tricky thing because I've drawn all these pages to be A4 um, but yeah this one is a new size and this is the page that I kind of fit it into to fit um, so yeah I'm just gonna go through all the pages and do that but I thought I would show you this is the intro pages that's the best I can do. And so this is the intro pages. I really love them still. They're quite vibrant and I just, I like that sort of change in style. I was trying to match the Beauty and the Beast um, intro pages, but it is going to be really, really fun changing this up to be more visually attractive. I'm not sure. I might, I kind of wanted to change this to be a bit to include the brothers, but I'm not sure if I want to go that far. Um, but yeah, this is the first chapter. It's not a very long book, so the first chapter is not very long. And then it just, there's, there's 124 total, all the way down here. But yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this later with the scaling of the pages, but at least now I have the basic shape down. Jeez, my phone is making a lot of noise. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start sketching. And then when I've done that, I think I'm gonna look at the cover. I don't think I have time to do a new cover, so I'm gonna ask the publisher. I think they're happy with the one that I have, but you know, I've gotta ask anyway. So I think, do I have the cover? Full case. Oh, sure. I thought I, was, okay, well, I didn't save that. But yeah, this is the cover, but this is for an A4 book and for like cloth and stamp. So it's very different, but I think they like the cover. I still quite like it too. It's it's eye catching and it's pink. <laughs> Maybe that's why we have to change. We should change it to not be blue and pink, but something else. But I don't know. I'm going to start sketching. I'm going to bring out my iPad, which I, I haven't done any of the snooker pages on iPad, but I think I can match my own style. I should be all right. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's get going. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Let's, I kinda want to do a fade from, maybe not black, but like a dark, stuff like that. i just put the middle point here, just so I can see it. So what I want is the, what I have in my head at least, is the once upon a time part here. And I've changed, I've changed the text a little bit, so the illustration aren't gonna, gonna change. They lived in Kong for very long time and they'll come 
I'm making up n names as well. There's nothing that's called an elf coming in, but I'm I'm doing it. So this one's gonna be dark, and then I want. Should we do it here or should we? Mm -hmm. I want I want like a big illustration with this proud cat. You can barely see a thing, can't you? Hmm. That's clearly the problem. <laughs> so I want this big king with this proud kind of. Antlers. Just want this beautiful big illustration. This beautiful big cat. And then. But I don't know if I should have it on this page or if I should have it on the next page. Because this is kind of like. You know what we should do? We should probably sketch this smaller to begin with, because right now I'm doing like the whole giant page, aren't I? It's making noise, why is that making noise? Okay, so I was thinking. So when you first open the book, I still really want the map here. So this is the map. And then white and then the title. This is how I like it, so I hope that they will be okay with that. <laughs> Cat. So we go this way. Uh, and papers. And then I want intro. Prologue. Mm. Let's start. Let's start how I started that with having the little intro here and then the big cat. We have the tail going here and then here and here. Just this giant cat. I don't know if I want to show his face. I might not actually. Makes him seem. Don't need his whole body either. Just need this. So this this is gonna be more like a children's book, actually. The part here. And uh, question is, do we keep that there, or do we leave it? I kind of like it there. So to the people who's read the book before, I'm changing it to be more of a good versus evil book than the whole thing with the gods. There's a god in there to begin with, but I'm changing that. Okay, so... Okay, I don't know if I want to put... No, I want to put the text in the next one. Then we have the city. And angled with warmth and heat, and then maybe maybe a split mountain here. So this whole big beautiful scene with him warming the city with just the love in his heart, or something like that. I want it to be glowing from here, and then just like warmth and heat, and then we could put that here and here maybe maybe a fox face demonic fox face Fo fox <laughs> fox face Oh, 
There's a lot of pages. Maybe I should. <laughs> well, actually, no. It's four. So far. I want one of those really giant illustration in this one. Well, these are foxes. I want them to be really creepy. Okay, so I might have something. I'm not happy with this page, this page, um, a spread. I think I like the first one and I like the second one. And this one, I want to be more icky. I don't know, it's not scary enough. Um, this one's all right. This one's kind of cool. This one I don't like really. And this is the one that I already showed you guys with the dad and Steve, which I think still will work. I might just change it a little bit. Yeah, um, I do really like the the first two, but I don't know how to do the um, this one. I might just try again. I just wanted to look sad. <laughs> And it's slowly being infected. This is a curse. Um, I saw Uden use one of these kind of hands sticking up, and I think that would look really cool for this. And then it's all snow cats with monk stripes. I just wanted to show how cold and horrible it was or something. With three panels. But I think that's alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to do six then. Which, I, like, it's not that bad because I have until the first of December really to finish it, but I need to just clean it up and have it nicely. Um, especially if I'm gonna have it ready for tomorrow, if I'm gonna meet them, I need to have sort of a clean version of it. But I really think this page is gonna sell the opening. Like, imagine opening the book and have this giant snowy beautiful king cat <laughs> and then yeah no it's gonna be a nice one i'm probably gonna try and put the god in the background i'm gonna leave him in the later chapters but i'm not gonna mention him at all during the whole book so only the people who know um the first story they they might see the whole thing but i am it's cool. Um, what should I do now? I should probably just continue. <laughs> I will... Um, I think this was the most interesting part. I know this video is going to be so long, but I think I'll just now continue with sketching like the actual pages a bit cleaner. Yep. I'm going to end the camera recording on this one and I'll just catch up with you guys after some Procreate, some Procreate uh, time lapses. So I'll see you guys. All right, so I've been working on this for a few hours now. Um, I'm not actually sure when I started, but I've done the rough sketch and the color for a lot of these. I really love this one. I'm so excited to have it like finished. 
and then the second one they're all very rough but i think you can all tell what it is like i don't think i'll use any of these lines with the final one but for me this is just getting everything down i usually wouldn't do the color one but i decided to do it and this is the evil fox and i kind of like it now the mountains in the background i probably will draw the city a bit more prominent but it, i think it works and so i just have this one that I'm going to start now. I'm not sure if I want to have it. I think I want to do it this way. I'm probably going to extend his antlers so they go across, just so they connect in sort of a way. Oh, and I also got in contact, well, the um, oh, the editor, I guess her, her title is, just got in contact with me and said like, hey, you want to come for lunch tomorrow? And I'm like, yes, I will. <laughs> but that just means that I will have need to have this all done by then. Uh, well, not done, but like sketch. But it doesn't take me too long. Like, I think... Let's see, how long does this one take me? The Wonders of Procreate. Uh, this is 44 minutes. And that's including the thumbnails. So I don't actually know how long it's been. Um, I'm guessing like half an hour for each. Like, I don't spend that much time on this. But it's like an overview of the new prologue pages. And I have three... Yeah, three left. And then uh, I'll put them into the Affinity Publisher file that I had and like put the text on and like just have a look at it. And uh, yeah, but now the time's almost, well, it, oh, it is almost one o'clock and I have a stream at three. So, and then I have poll at six. I need to check that. But I have a full day today and it's just I'm gonna try getting this done before it's stream, but we'll we'll see. All right, I know you've probably seen the speed paint, but I did it. Oh, I need to turn off this sound. Um, it's half past two and I have sketched, colored all my sketches. Sketched and colored. This one does have panels on it, but I think that's all right. Um, but I quite like them. They look pretty good as a lineup. It's gonna be really, really cool trying to put them into the program and put some text on it, but I'll do that after the stream or later today, but at least I finished all the sketches that I wanted to do, so I feel pretty accomplished right now. Um, I think the attack one is probably my favorite one. And I knew it was going to be my favorite one. I just knew it. Well, this one and the, the first one that I showed you earlier. This one. Yes. Yes, I'm going to stream in half an hour. I think I'm going to have a shower first. I probably will stream like three hours, two hours, depending on how I'm feeling. But right now I'm pretty happy. Um, so I'll, I'll leave you guys here today because this is the end of me working on the snowcat stuff for today. But tomorrow at 12, I'm going to have lunch with the editor. 
And I'm also having a dentist appointment before that, so yoo Hopefully they don't tear my mouth open. I don't, they're not gonna do that, <laughs> but you know. Uh, hopefully it should fit um, doing different things. So I'm going to buy. Okay, yeah, talking is good. See you guys tomorrow. All right. I just want to say goodbye because this is the end of the vlog. It is currently Wednesday and uh, I didn't film anything yesterday when I went to the meeting with the publishers just because it didn't feel right. Uh, I was just focusing on talking to them and like getting to know what I should do and everything. And fun news, we are doing a new cover. And I wasn't thinking we would, but then they were like, well, actually, like we like it, but I think it could be better. Like he could be more cute and determined instead of um, very hero-esque on the cover that I have right now. So that's gonna change. Um, I need to give them a lot of changes and like sketches and stuff for Friday, this Friday, for the application of the fund. Uh, what else do they say? They still, they like the new intro. I think they like it at least. <laughs> they didn't have very much of a reaction, but I think that's because it was too much light on my iPad for them to see anything. And, uh, yeah, they're just we were just chatting and they bought me lunch and we we're sitting in the sun. It was really nice. So I'll catch up with you guys next week. Um, probably doing the cover. I'm not sure yet. That's the whole point of these vlogs. I don't know what's gonna happen next week. I'll just start filming then and I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. I was gonna answer questions from the previous videos to, on this one, but I know that it's already very long because I've started editing and I'm like, this is probably a 45 minute vlog <laughs> or longer. Um, so I'll leave the questions and answers to the next vlog. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them in the next video because I'm sure I need to fill it out a little bit. So do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you this week, next, next week. Bye bye.